Hey guys, it's Elliot from The Wiggle Project and today I will be telling you all about our system to solve pollution in rivers across the UK. Uh, the whole thing is super cheap, super easy and honestly very surprising that nobody's done it already. So originally I started this project because I kept getting ill when I went surfing. Um, never really used to happen when I was a kid but over like the last sort of four years it started to happen like more and more frequently. And sometimes I get there and it smells like poo and it's kind of awful. So very often I would come to the spot and the map would be fully clear. But what turned out had happened was that uh, sewage companies were discharging without telling anyone. And so I was actually still surfing in raw sewage, which was not cool. So anyway, I made a sensor box uh, originally just to check the pH of the water, just for my own peace of mind. And then I started to think about, you know, well, if I could just leave the sensor box there, I wouldn't have to keep checking it all the time. It would just tell me. So this is when I started developing this actual device, which was um, a GPRS system, which has like 3G cellular, it can send text. And that's just sandwiched on top of a Arduino, which just handles the processing. Think of it like the uh, sort of computer of the whole thing, right? So yeah, so then we had to work out how we were going to measure pH. Um, I found some really nice guides online from the aquarium community. Shout out them. And yeah, so I calibrated the sensor, headed out to the place where I was going to do the day testing. I left it out there for about five, six hours and recorded the results in an Excel spreadsheet. And they looked how we would like. We even detected a nice pollution spike, exactly how we expected. So yeah, the whole system works how we expect and how we want it to. Uh, but, you know, I uploaded this video and the main comment I got was, can we make it cheaper? And the answer is, yeah. And yeah, yeah, we can. And this is, this is how. Uh, cool. So currently the design is we have sensor boxes in rivers. Uh, these are our sensor boxes, they're Arduinos, they have pH sensors and EC sensors and they create a graph which looks just like this and detect peaks and troughs and stuff like that to, you know, work out when there's pollution. Uh, so then the sensor bot then relays this information of a pollution alert to the Raspberry Pi main server using SMS. Uh, and then the main server does a bit of processing and then we'll push that alert to the uh, sewage map and sewage map app. Uh, so after we send out this alert, we want to know how this affects pollution along the stream. Because obviously there's pollution here. Over time, it's going to flow down and affect other parts. But we can't just say that there's pollution there. Uh, we need to be able to check and track it. So what do we do? Well, what I originally wanted to do was just use the same sensor boxes, but the pH sensor, sensor, sensor box costs around 50 pounds. So what we did is just took off the pH sensor. All we really need is the EC sensor to be able to track what the pH levels would be. We just used math and graphs and machine learning. Uh, we'll just move on. Um, <laughs> so the idea is that, um, you know, we can then create this, you know, fully accurate map uh, using all of this calculated data and data from the previous sensors uh, in the chain. And then we will be putting this all to the app so people know where they can swim and where they can't and also all the data will be open source so anyone can do research on it or can use it to build lawsuits and things like that. Uh, anyway, we keep going and basically the idea is by serving this data to the public is the public will be a bit like, hey, what's going on? And then everyone will be like, hey, what's going on? Turns out that polluting is actually illegal and with good data and you know uh good public opinion and stuff like that we can all work together to you know 
make a difference. Um, this guy here, this is Mr. Black, CEO of what he recently said, or not recently, it was a while ago. Uh, he said it was the water company's fault, their responsibility. It was the industry who lost the public's trust. But this guy's the regulator. I think you get the irony here. Very ironic. We're just going to move past this, I think. Um, yeah. You're done, said Judge. Um, then we sent him to jail. Whatever. I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm on a, I'm on a lot, on a lot of mod. <laughs> Guys, I, I was uh, on a lot of medication when I made this because I am incredibly ill. So I'm, I'm very sorry for this. I had a whole bit where it was a courtroom, and there was this fish whose wife died because of polluting, and then there is like a whole bit. You know, I <laughs> I looked at the recording earlier and I was like, what what have I made? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um please, you know, donate to the cause. Um get involved, just share us about, leave a like, follow, subscribe. Um Hopefully, we'll be rolling the technology out within sort of the next two, three weeks, or at least I'll have a good update for you about why we haven't. Um, all right, peace and love. See ya.